Sullivan. Stay with us. Uh, attire? Yes, I have brought several outfits, jackets, shoes, the, everything I have on me, and I have a lot of clothes on me. It costs $25. <laughs> I'm wait, wearing several layers. Wait a minute. You, you're wearing $25 like dollars worth Thank of clothes? You. No, it does not. 25. I'm wearing 25 Yes, 20 No, this is about 10 or 15 what I've got on. This is about 10 Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. The audience is going, wait a minute, wait a minute. Start right now. Come out here in the middle here okay. so we can all get a good look at your outfit. Okay. A lovely floral jacket there. Thank you. There. Thank you. Yeah, you like Thank that? You. Isn't that a nice jacket? Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now tell us the magic of your outfit. Give us the whole rundown, how much things cost and where you found them. Okay. Um, am I going to get some music here or should I just start talking? I have a little music. Music, please. <laughs> Maestro. I do this very fast. What I do is a, like a one-woman fashion show of all my thrifty fashions, because you know when you're cheap, you can't hire fashion models because they're too expensive. You do it all yourself and you wear all the outfits at one time. So anyway, <laughs> that's what's a $2.69 jacket. This comes off. And then what you do is you put this on, and this goes with it. And between this and this, this was four dollars and sixty-nine cents. And then this comes off. And you take this. Here, Frank, hold this. Okay. <laughs> and you take this off. Okay. And you pull this down. And these were free pants. I did not pay anything for these pants. I found them, in my, found them in my neighbor's front yard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You gotta have rich neighbors that wear nice clothes. Okay, then this can go on. This was 99 cents. Like I said, the pants are free. The shoes were $1.50. 99 cents. Okay, now this was the most expensive piece in the wardrobe, believe it or not. This was a $6 tie from Walmart. And see this? Goes with this. Da -da, something like that. I gotta hide the turtle. But anyway, there's that. Okay, then this comes up. Okay, I'm doing this as fast as I can. Where are you doing this? At thrift shops or garage sales or what? No, I've only been asked to do this on this show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute, let me get your microphone okay. fixed Oh, the here. blouse was four dollars. The blouse was four. But blouse see, what I want to know: are you, are you buying these I things at thrift room. shops or garage sales oh, or yard is. sales yes, or what? Yes, um, uh, like I say, my neighbor's front yard. Uh, you know, relatives. Uh, usually, though, thrift stores, consignment shops, Salvation Army, Goodwill. There's a great Goodwill. So these by are us. not even your clothes. Uh, actually, these are my clothes, yes. She bought them. These nice. are my clothes, yes. But not originally. They were somebody else's. These were somebody, but I've washed With them. They're clean. No, and no, I no, do no, never no, buy no, underwear. No. <laughs> Frank is like, no. Oh, Frank. I mean, Listen, let me ask the audience. How many I mean, people in here like thrift shops and those types? I love them. I love them. I should, think they're should great. Should I keep on going? Oh, please, okay. go on. All right. <laughs> These are stirrup pants. These were $2 at Reruns Consignment Shop in Marietta, Georgia. I'm from Atlanta. Anybody from Atlanta? <gasps> Woo! <Woo-hoo>! In Atlanta. <laughs> okay. In Atlanta, right? Right. This, uh, the strip stirrup pants were $2. This blazer was $2. And then the shoes were $1. And then, let's uh, see, I've got my son's. Somebody else's shoes, My too. son made me. <laughs> my son made me the necklace. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, that's it. And they're showing dollars. Well, I tell you, I tell you, Shelly. So, what do you think about that? Hey, Bo, mm. give me a question. I just wanted to know how long was you a, a thrift shop shopper? How, how long have you been a thrift shop shopper? Oh, years and years and years and years and years. <laughs> tell me how much. I mean, a dollar for this, a dollar for that. I mean, yeah. tell me, tell us how you find the best thrift shops or, or garage sales, lawn sales church sales, Goodwill, where are the best places to go? Well, they're advertised. They're all over Atlanta. If you live in a major city like New York, you've got a thrift store everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I've just found Salvation Army to be one of the best places to go in Goodwill because they've got more of a selection. They've got the Goodwill store organized like it's a Kmart or a Walmart now. That's right. It really is they amazing. Do. And they have it. They have it broken up. And what I like is the blazers, the men's blazers, because mm -hmm. I can go in and get men's blazers and I can get four or five different outfits out of one blazer, right. matching, mix right. and matching skirts That's and blouses. You can and belt stuff. them with some leggings exactly. and a little and they look under. really cute. And That's you're right. spending three, four dollars for a blazer. That's right. Question. Hi, Rolanda. Hi, Dar. Um, I, I like to shop at thrift shops as well, but I do other shopping at department stores and specialty shops. Um, I'm not as fanatic as she is. <laughs> um, uh, obviously, there are certain things that I wouldn't buy, perhaps shoes, but I do have my best friend who is in the audience, and he is really grossed out by thrift shops. I mean, the idea just to go and buy them. 
grosses them out. And I guess who's that friend? <laughs> come on, come on. What's wrong with a thrift shop? I don't know. I went with him once, and the moment I walked in, I was itching. And I was <laughs> yeah. looking at the clothes. Yeah, I get like and he said, you know, they had good clothes. Just, it's just, true. It's but you don't know. I think a clothing is something very and, personal. Oh. But you know something? You can also, you also, but you take them to the cleaners. Tell us how exactly. do you clean clothes. Once you find them from the thrift shop, I mean, should be people get the heebie-jeebies. How can you clean? You, you don't take them to dry cleaner because you don't buy anything that needs dry clean because it costs too much. Mm -hmm. Or if it does need dry cleaning, you can get um, just the hand cleaner. You okay. Can get the or dry like, hand like cleaner and you do it in your bathtub and hang it up. I buy an outfit for four dollars and it costs six to dry clean it. You know, yeah. I mean, I've done that. Okay. Question. Oh well, I, I'm 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 a believer of thrift shops. I, I'm not prudish one bit about that. I have some items on. But what I wanted to know from you was, um, it's Shirley. Shelly. 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 Okay. What's your name? It's Arnold. Arnold. Right. Um, were they, the shops that you went to, irregular clothing? Was there blemishes in the clothing? Or no, you have to be careful. You have to really look and be careful. But usually if there's a stain, I can get it out. Yeah. Uh, you know. um, well. Now there's a lot of wrinkles in my clothing. Quickly, I want to say that I got on some $3 Ooh. pants and they're pleated and they're... Um, and those are nice pants. Very nice. $3? a nice thrift shop fashion show. Can I get two size sevens in here any place? Okay, you and you. Come on down here. And when we get back, Shelly's not only going to show us how to decorate our bodies, because come on, ladies, what we're going to do is have you all dressed up in some thrift shop <laughs> things, and you're going to help sell the thrift shop idea. We're also going to learn how to decorate our homes, too. And after you dress up your home, let's say you want to celebrate. We're going to show you how to throw a big bash for 20 people for only 40 bucks. Hey, let's plan a party. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Except for this piano, which